What's up guys, so this is part two of the IH Risi uh, rear view mirror camera system. So it's going to be the installation part and I actually decided to install this rear view system in my brother's car. This is a Suzuki Forenza 2008 for you guys' reference. I'll show you guys how to route everything. So with that said, let's just get on to it. So I have everything right here. I already took out all the bags and everything out of here except the protective film because I don't want the actual screen to get dirty during the whole process. But what we're gonna do is just unassemble everything first. And we are going to install this up here so what you want to do is unhook the actual brackets right here the rubber brackets and you want to place it over your existing rear view mirror perfect okay and then all it is is that it will just snap into place and then next you want to grab the rubber bracket and you want to pull it towards the front and then latch it in like so it's very very easy and straightforward you want to do the same on the other side as well. Make sure if you guys don't see the actual bracket right here, you want to just push it down and then pull it. Perfect. So that's it. It's very simple to actually install this whole rear view camera system on here. That's pretty much step one. So we are good right there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in everything just to make sure the whole system is working so, because the last thing you want to do is you want to you don't want to route every single thing properly and the next thing you know it the backup camera doesn't work or something is not working and then you just have to return it or whatever the reason is so I'm gonna grab the long cigarette lighter right here because in the long run we're actually gonna use this I'm just gonna plug it in here just for now Perfect. Car is not turned on right now. And then this would bring power to, to your actual rear view mirror. And the thing I don't like about this is that it's actually not a right angle. Uh, the reason why I don't like that is because when you push it up, so depending on your car, it might hit this. At least in this Suzuki, it's actually perfect. So that's good. But depending on your car, you might not like that, give or take. All right, so now this is the cable for the rear view camera. You want to plug this part into the AV in connector on the top. And the AV is just right next to the power. Next, you want to grab the connector right here. And then you want to plug in the rear view camera into this. It's very simple. There will be a slit on the actual rear view camera part and there will be a little groove on the connector itself so you just want to make sure you line those up and then push down there's also an arrow to let you know where that part is if for whatever reason you're having difficulty trying to find that all right so that is it all right so i just actually turned on the accessory mode in this car show you guys that there is a red led light in the cigarette adapter to let you know there's power now let's go to the actual unit press and hold until it boots up okay all right so it just booted up took a little while but not bad everything is in the right side right here front camera is working now let's see if the reverse camera is working as well perfect i want to show you guys that the bracket right here has to be on the top because i want to show you guys right here if it's in the bottom I will be upside down and if you make sure the brackets on top then a, the actual image on the rear view camera will be right side up so make sure you guys have the bracket facing up perfect so everything seems to be working really well so let's turn this off perfect and then turn off your car now we are going to route the rear view camera wire from the top all the way around here there's a lot of different ways to do it you guys could route it and go all the way down and then towards the back the way i'm more comfortable in doing it and the way i like it is actually routing the wire to the top and all the way to the roof of it so um, that's how i'm going to show you guys just depending on you guys it just really depends but from here it's super simple 
what you want to do is you want to grab the wire and then just start tucking it to the inside of the roof and then start wiring it through it's that simple and then depending on your car it might be easier or harder but that's all you have to do so we finished routing it through here what I did was I just grabbed the flathead and then slightly pushed down right here and then turned it to the side so it creates a small gap just enough where I could push it in uh, so you're not damaging any of the part right here of the car next what we're going to do is we're going to pull back the seal and then we're just gonna wire this through like so so you just want to just tuck it in all the way to the back and then that's it as you guys could see right here it doesn't look bad at all so we're gonna do that all the way from here towards right here and then I'll go back and then show you guys what the progress is okay so it's very very simple just tuck it all the way into the back this seal should keep it in place no issues at all perfect so you guys could see right here uh, it doesn't look like there's any wiring at all if you look at it and it blends right in from here we're going to do the same exact process as we did right here grab a flat head you want to grab a flight head kind of push it down in right here and then twist it to the side so you could have a little bit of room to push your wires through like so it's super easy with the flat head and take your time with this you want to make sure all the cables are tucked in because if you guys are like me i hate cables showing at all so we're just going to take our time it's very very simple create gaps and if for whatever reason it's difficult to get that gap just make sure you look at what's trying what's blocking it there you go so we routed the wire from here towards the top of the roof all the way towards here and then we tuck the wire through here all the way up here and then here so now we just got the back seat and then going towards the trunk and then we're almost done all right so now we are in the back perfect okay so now we're just going to tuck this in like what we did previously take your time don't rush it then this part actually came off <laughs> which is fine what you guys could even do is if your guys's seal right here the rubber seal easily comes off like my brother's car you guys can lift it up so you guys could wire it a little bit easier as well but I'm just gonna keep this on like so and then keep pushing through and then once we reach this metal part right here we're going to route this through here towards the back towards the trunk so in this part same exact method as what we did uh, through the other two you want to push down right here and then twist your flat head perfect and grab the whole cable keep routing it through this this part for whatever reason is a lot easier <laughs> compared to the other parts perfect okay so we are almost done what I'm gonna do now is all right so we're going to route the cable now from here we're gonna push it right here because there's actually an opening from here where was it there you go I'm gonna push this through and now we're going to the other side and pull it there's an opening right here we're going to just pull it now and now we have the cable all right so we're going to just uh, leave it like this let's actually clean it up so I'm just gonna push all this down so now we're going to rub this cable all the way from here towards this side right here tuck it in all the way towards here and we're going to mount the rear view camera right here right underneath the lock I will zip tie this later I'm just going to round route this through like so all 
perfect. All right. Focus through right here. So far what we did was we routed the cable from the front all the way to the side of the car towards here, tucked it in right here, wired it from underneath, pushed it through, and from here we're going to zip tie this cable to this and then pushed it through here, routed it through here, and we are almost done. It seems like I actually went through the car and then it, it seems like the only way to route and mount the rear view camera like so is to drill a hole through here so we're going to drill a hole straight here towards the back okay so we finally made a hole through here so i drilled the hole right here and we will route this through so now i'm just gonna route that through perfect all right and then this would actually just mount like so probably push it back so it's almost flush with the actual car or the trunk itself all right guys so we got the rear view camera right here we threaded it through right here through using the hole that we just drilled in and now we have it on here we routed it through here now the next step is to actually wire in the cables right here for the reverse camera and we're gonna wire that in for the backup camera, which is this guy right here. So I actually wired in the cable through here, going down right here. And now we're gonna tuck in the cables right here, but the actual cable for that, let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, so the actual cable for that would be this one right here. So there's going to be a yellow and a black cable. So we are going to strip both of those wires so we could put the red one on the yellow since the yellow is the hot wire and then use the black one for the ground. So we're going to just do that right now and then I'll be back and then show you guys how everything looks. So I finally was able to cut through the wire so what I did was I made an opening right here where it would actually expose the wire and I attached the red hot wire to there and the ground you guys could attach that with the black all right so I have the car on right now the moment of truth to see if the rear camera works is when you place the car in reverse so right when I place this in reverse okay so right when I put it in reverse it should go to the rear camera which is this little one right here perfect and you also have guidelines right there as well so let me put it back in park and it goes back to that both screens all right so the only thing that's left to do is uh, pretty much put everything back uh, let's tuck in the wires right here and let's finalize this installation. All right guys, so we are ready to mount the camera into the bottom of the keyhole. So I got an alcohol swab right here and I'm just going to clean it just so there's no residue that's living on there and I'm just gonna clean it really, really well. Perfect. So after that, I'm actually gonna get a rag so I could dry it off, so. Perfect. So now you want to you you want to remove the yellow part so you could expose the adhesive. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to line it up so the tip of the camera, the rear view camera would almost stay flush to the keyhole on there on the ridge all right guys so this is day two of the installation of the rear view camera system by 
IR Reese. The reason why it's day two is because I actually finished watering everything yesterday, the video that you guys just saw like a few seconds ago. But the reason why it's day two was because it, the lighting just got a little darker and it was a lot difficult to give you guys a good view of everything. So I just decided to just stop and film the next day. So the only thing that we're going to do is route the charging cable so it's not dangling down right here. Uh, I'm the type of person that does not like to, you know, have cables around as you guys noticed with the first cable. So we're going to wire the charging port the same exact way as the rear view camera. So we're gonna route it all the way up here, around here, but instead of going up, we're going down around underneath the steering wheel towards the gas pedal and brake and then through here. So it should be pr relatively easy and simple. Make sure you guys have a flathead screwdriver because we're going to need this to help us tuck it in right here. So right here, let's just start tucking it in. At least in this car, this part is easy. Now right here, we're going to use the flat head and you're going to push it in and then from there you're going to twist it and that would create enough space for us to tuck it in, to tuck in the cable. Perfect, we're almost there. I'm just gonna push this in with the flat head. Perfect, perfect. So right here we're going to tuck this in, we're almost there. It's a very easy process, just don't rush it. So now, we're just gonna tuck this in. All right guys, so now from here, we're going to tuck the cable through here, uh, against the fuse box, and then underneath there. So in order to tuck it in easier, I'm just going to remove the panel from there, perfect. And then from here, let's tuck it in. Just going to use the flathead to kind of push the wire through there and then tuck it in. Perfect. It's a very, very easy installation. We're going to push this cable, I mean the charging port through here, and then grab it from the bottom. Perfect, so grabbed it right here, just routed it through right here, so it's very, very simple. Let's return the fuse panel back. Perfect, so it was very easy and simple right here. And then first, I'm actually going to plug this in because there will be excess cable from here and I don't want that. So let's plug this in. Perfect, and we're just gonna tuck this cable through here. As you guys can see, there's an opening right there. Awesome. All right, and then from here, with this excess cable, I'm actually going to tug towards this side right here. So I'm going to tug on here and pretty much tuck all the wires on the near the fuse box panel. All right guys, so we finished installing the rear view mirror camera system right here. I got the charger and the rear view mirror wired up along the top right here. Rear view mirror camera routes all the way on the top while the charger routes down underneath the steering wheel and is plugged in right here. Everything works really, really well. When you turn on the system, it would automatically turn on by itself, which is really good. It's also showing that it's charged. Let me change the camera view. So I'm going to have the dash cam, as you guys can see right here, full screen. And right when you put it in reverse, it would automatically switch to the rear view camera. When you put it in drive, it would switch back to the normal mode right here. I'm going to move forward a little bit. And right when I put it in reverse, which is right now, it switches automatically, which is really awesome. It's a fast switch. You guys could see right there. The rear view mirror camera is not the same resolution. It's actually a lower resolution compared to the front camera, but that is standard. All right guys, so that is it. That's the installation of the IH Reese rear view mirror camera system. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. If you guys like this video or if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. It's helpful.
it helps out my channel. Alright guys, like always, take care. Greetings and welcome back to Fun with Dashcams. This is going to be video 6 Charlie.